Welcome to We've Been Drinking MMA Podcast. We are talking about the Brian Battle, AJ Fletcher fight. I am going Brian Battle. Um, Brian Battle is a long, rangy kickboxer. Um, even if uh, AJ brings it to the ground, um, Brian Battle has those long, rangy legs with those long arms. He can get subs. Um, minus 170. Like- minus 170. I like him too. Brian Battle. Yeah, minus one hundred seventy to make a hundred. I'm picking Battle too. Yeah, th- that's a. This is a good fight for uh, people that love parlays. So I like Brian Battle. In a Simple, parlay. right? You just yeah. battle money line. Yeah. No, no getting fancy it's, about yeah. how it's gonna happen. Just yeah. it's gonna happen. Yeah. Um, AJ cool. Fletcher is more of a. Uh, he's strong. He's a wrestler. Yeah. Um, Good athlete yeah. in the first round. I believe you said that he has gas tank issues. I feel like in his last fight, you could see not in his last fight. He got a sub. He he won by sub, but against Ang, Ang, Angel Angelusa uh, or Anglusa. Lusa is a really good. fight. I would say he's a really good fight. Yeah. But regardless, it's not. That's not the point. The point is, is that in the first round it was relatively competitive. Lusa won the first round, but it was competitive. And in the second round, you know, Fletcher was keeping distance, manipulating distance smartly, coming in and out of range. You know, throwing decent combinations. You know, jab wasn't as good. Punches weren't quite up to up to par with Lusa, and we know Lusa is really good by his last fight last weekend. You know how good he really is. But Fletcher in the second round. He wasn't keeping that distance in the second or third round. He started going right up to him. Thing is, like like Lousy always says, if you go in to somebody's range and you don't throw and you're waiting on them, that's what Fletcher was doing, man. He started getting bloody. His nose was bloody. Yeah, you're going to get knocked out. You're going to get knocked out. And I'm actually surprised he didn't get knocked out. But the point is, is that second and third round, he got bloodied on his face. And he was doing it to himself. He was just, like, coming in, like, close, but he wasn't throwing, waiting for some uh, – and then Lucid would throw – smack him and then Fletcher would try and counter and it was too late and all of a sudden his head movement wasn't there like it was in the first round so what I'm saying is as the fight goes on Fletcher is suspect his gas tank is suspect his IQ is suspect you look at battle if you just look at records records you think AJ Fletcher is going to be like okay yeah 10 and 2 okay 10 and 2 yeah let's go but when you actually like dissect it yes this is Brian Battle's fight to win shit Brian Battle's 10 and 2 as well and he's an ultimate ultimate fighter champion ultimate fighter champ He's fought. He fought. Uh, the he won all fifteen against Renat. That He's was, twenty-one and one. Yeah. Huge record. He even submitted Kevin Lee in one minute. Yeah. And Kevin Lee, we got respect for him, even though he's now he's retired. So and battle went the distance with him. Yeah. So. It's just like the range and the kickboxing. It's gonna be a fun fight to watch for me to put on a parlay and. It's fun, man. Just, battle has a 10, 10 inch reach advantage. It's going to be great. This is ridiculous. So we're talking about a guy like Fletcher who comes in. First round, he's pretty good. Brian Brian Battle, in my Fletcher doesn't throw enough, in my opinion, compared to Brian Battle. Battle throws a lot of leg kicks, a lot of kicks yeah. in general. Because he can. He can, and he's got the distance, so he's like, I'll throw kicks. And what I love about Battle is he's active. He throws a lot of kicks. And when you come in too close, he can knock you out if yeah. you come too close. So if Fletcher comes too close, you get knocked out. If Fletcher wants to keep distance and just come in, you know, manipulate range a little bit in the first round, Battle will still kick you a lot. Fletcher is good, but he doesn't throw enough. Against a guy like Battle, how are you going to overcome a 10-inch ten reach, 10 reach disadvantage if you're not throwing enough? It's just really difficult. And especially when he's keeping that – Battle's keeping that range because this, yeah. this guy's a wrestler, so he's going to want to close the range. But when he's mm-hmm. kicking that much, maybe it's a bad thing that he's kicking mm-hmm. if he's a wrestler. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, Because yeah. he can close a lot faster or That's catch, true. catch a kick or right. whatever, you know. But, like, I don't – Battle battle actually stays active on the back. He's looking for subs as well. But he, he gets up. He, I still think Battle, like, even though he's active with the kicks – he 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 still picks his spots well. He's just unafraid for some. I think he's just got that will in him, and so like he'll wait for you to do something like okay, you pause here, he'll kick you. It's not like he's just chucking leg kicks at at people. No, he yeah, he's he, not button mashing. Yeah, he's yeah. not button mashing. <laughs> Video game analogy. Yeah, it's so yeah. And you said he gets gets up off the ground, good on the ground. He's got two subs in his last six fights and two KOs in his last six fights. He's five and one in his last six. Um, with a decision loss to the 21 and one. Um, Look at his last fight. Ferret it was a 14 Dinoff. second knockout. Yeah, literally. I mean, regardless of it, whether Gabe, uh, Gabe Green went forward on him a little too much pressure, fact is is that Brian Battle Brian Battle knows how to time you in 14 a 14 seconds. 14 seconds, man. 
got right next to him, and Fletcher got right next to uh, Lusa, and Lusa didn't finish him. But I feel like Battle can finish. That's why I, we're going. I think that's why we're both saying Battle by money line, just bat, Battle in general. Battle's gonna win this fight. It's gonna win. Yeah. Appreciate the listening, guys. Going with Brian Battle minus one seventy, hundred seventy to make a hundred. Appreciate the listening, guys.